Number one asks us which dot plot shows a symmetric distribution. So there's a middle and then things are the same on either side of that middle. So this one we see has kind of a big cliff and drop off. So this is not symmetric. Um, C certainly does not look symmetric. And B goes down and back up, but it's way higher on this um, right side. So that's not going to be symmetric. So that leaves B, and we can see that this would be the middle, and we've got three and three dots, two and two, one and one, one and one. So it is symmetric or the same on both sides of this middle line. Number two, which dot plot shows a skewed distribution? So let's take a look at what a skewed distribution means from your lesson summary. And so a skewed distribution is one side of the distribution has more values further from where the bulk of the data is at than the other side. So we want to kind of look at where do we see the bulk of the data and is there something that's like further away from the bulk. So A doesn't really count because it goes down and back up in the middle. That's really a symmetric distribution. So is B because we kind of see this middle line and it does the same thing in each of those towers. C is the same idea there. You've kind of got this middle in here and you've got each of the towers doing the same thing. And then in D, we see this kind of big top here and then all of a sudden it's like low on the right hand side. So this one would be a skewed distribution because we have more um, values over here further away from the bulk of the data than the other side. Number three, create a dot plot showing a uniform distribution. So uniform distribution means that all the data points are there the same amount of times. So you get to create whatever you want. So don't create exactly what I'm creating here, um, but you can do something similar. So I'm just gonna pick the numbers one, two, three, and four. You could do as many numbers as you want here and whatever numbers you want. And then um, the data points are gonna be there the same amount of time. So I'm just gonna do three in each one. And this would be uniform data where everything is there the same amount of times. Number four, the data represent the number of ounces of water of 26 students um, for what they drank before donating blood. Create a dot plot for the data. So dot plot, you're just going to get all of these numbers out here. I'm not going to do this fully, um, but you would get all the numbers up to 88 in there. And I don't know, those are all multiples of eight. So you could even just count by eight. Um, so you could do like eight. 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, 64, 72, 80, 88, so that you didn't have like so many dots if you wanted since they're all multiples of eight anyways. So let's see, we had eight, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, 64, 72, 80, and 88. Then you could um, put your little dots in there for how many times each one is created. So I guess I will make the whole thing since I'm not counting by ones. So eight was there three times, 16 was there three times, 32 is there one, two, three, four, five, six times. 64 is there one, two, three, oh, whoops, 32, not 24. Um, move this over here. 64 is there one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. 80 is there four times. And then 88 is there three times. Then it wants us to create a box plot for the data. 
So we're going to need to, um, again, maybe I'll just use, I'll probably just use this same scale um, at the top here. So I'm not going to draw it again. I'm just going to do the box plot under here. So we're going to need our um, five number summary. So we're going to need our min, which is eight. Then we're going to need our Q1. We're going to need our median. We're going to need our Q3. And we're going to need our max. So our max is 88. So there's 26 numbers here. So we're going to, the data is going to be split um, 13 and 13. So we can count to the middle 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So here's data point, here's the two middle data points. So then we would average these together, which is just going to be 64 since they're the same number. So then that means that here's the exact middle of the data. It's right here. So then we've got 13 numbers at the bottom. So let's find the middle of that. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 would be your middle. So you'd get 6 on either side. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 would be our middle, 6 on either side there. So that gives us our Q2, or sorry, our Q1 and our Q3. So our minimum point here is at 8. Our Q1 is at 32. Our median is at 64. Our Q3 is at 80, and our maximum is at 88. So then that helps us to get this middle box here and then we can do a branch out to the min and to the max. So I just used this scale that I had already drawn up in part A. Part C, what information about the data is provided by the box plot? So provided by part B, that's not provided by the dot plot. So we can immediately see the median in the box plot. So we know that the median is right here at 64. So without having to calculate anything, you already can see the median very easily and you can see the split in fourths. So we can see every um, fourth of the data. And then in part D, it says, what information about the data is provided by the dot plot that's not provided by the box plot. So the dot plot up here, we can see all the individual data. So we can see all the individual data points. And therefore you can see like how many times each person has drank that amount of water versus here you can only see that 25% of the data chunks. Number five, the box plot represents the distribution of the number of points scored by a cross-country team at 12 meets. So this is 12 different meets. Find the, um, if possible, find the mean. If not possible, explain why not. So we can't find the mean here. And that's because we don't see the individual points. So in order to find the mean, you'd need to add up all the data points and divide by, in this case, 12, but we don't know the individual data points, so we aren't able to calculate that mean. Um, in part B, it wants us to find the median if possible. So we know the median is 34 because we can see that with this middle line here. So the median is 34. Part C, did the cross-country team ever score over 30 points at a meet? And we see 30 points is um, right here, and we can see they clearly did a lot of times score over 30 points, especially since the median is at 34. The max is 42. So, yes, the max score they achieved was 40. Is that right? 42. So they definitely scored over 30 points.